Thank you. Thank you for your invitation uh, regarding this uh, subject. It's not very clear in the literature. So this is, uh, you know that the natural history of the cup that the rate of rupture increases with the age. And you know that after 80 year old, uh, you have the risk of 80% of rupture of the supraspinatus. And many people have no pain and they don't know uh, what's happens. So now in a how society, when you are 70 years old, you are not old. You are a young person and you increase uh, functional demands. If you repair the curve and if you read the literature, the rate of helic turn on decrease, but the functional result is very nice. If you do a decompression alone, it's very nice for the pain, but uh, it's better if the patient is not active with massive postural superior curve tear. And we know that with the long follow-up, after five years follow-up, you have a deterioration of the shoulder. So the key question in this presentation in all the patients more than 70 years old is when you decide to repair and when you decide to do acrimoplasty alone. If you read the literature, if you repair, this is a valid indication in terms of clinical result and in terms of ailing the tendon to the bone. If you do a decompression alone, could be an acceptable uh, decompression is a lighter option and uh, I, I do sometimes. This is a work that I did a long time ago in 2013. And we collect in France, in many centers, in Paris, in Rennes, Bordeaux, and Nice. And we collect 133 patients with more than one year follow-up. And we did, it was a prospective randomized multicenter study. And we did 70 repair versus 73 decompression and we published this article on orthopedic traumatology surgical research. So we include patients with more than 70 years old, full thickness tear of the supraspinatus, extension to the upper third of the infraspinatus. The retraction was less than two centimeters and muscle fatty infiltration was less free. We excluded patient with uh, 70 years old, but after traumatic tear, when the tendon was healthy, or sometimes with degenerative tendon, but with a good muscle, no infiltration. And I think that in this case, we see the excellent indication of repair, if even the patient is 80 years old. We excluded also massive posterior superior of tear of supra-infraspinatus. It was not reparable, was not good muscle with more to fatty infiltration, and we did decompression. In this two type of situation, it's very clear that there is no discussion between repair and decompression. So when we did the uh, arthroscopic procedure, we did a chromoplasty, bursectomy, we, did, uh, we cut it the AC ligament, or if you decide to repair with one or two rows with acromoplasty. Systematically, we do the biceps, tenodesis, or tenotomy, and we put a sling for four, six weeks, and we start immediately passive range of motion. So, more interesting, you see that. It's a 70 patient with decompression, 70 patient with repair. And you see that both techniques are efficient for patient because probatively, the global constant score was 41, and after the compression is 73. If you do repair, is 80, but it's not significant difference. This is a weighted constant score. You see before repair 59, after repair 100. American shoulder and both score, you see that. This is the same increase. There is no significant difference, and we know that the decompression versus repair is a, is a efficient technique. If you repair, if you repair, it's better on clinical score. You see that? You do decompression, 73. You do repair, 80. You do decompression, 83. You do repair, 93. 
I think that if you repair in the situation when you are a rupture of the supraspinatus, good muscle, and it's a good results. Repair it better on each constant score. You see that the pain is better if you repair, range of motion is better, activities on strength, more important than that. And this is a message that if you repair the cuff and you obtain a good healing, you restore a good strength. And if the patient is active, even 75 years old, I think that is younger in, in our society. If you have more strength, this is a, a good uh, uh, justification of uh, repair. Regarding the retraction, regarding the retraction, there is a difference is more significant between repair and decompression for larger tear, especially for pain and strength. If you have a larger tear, type 2 or type 3, if you repair, you can obtain a better result than that, that uh, uh, decompression. And you see that is very important in grade 2. You see the difference? It's nine points in terms of constant score on assess score. And the recommendation is to recover strength and to relieve pain in large tear, you have to do. More interesting, but it's logical. If you have a fatty infiltration, grit, so in lower stages of infiltration, you can restore lower strength after repair. You see that it's grade zero, 01 in terms of infiltration. And you compare that grade 2 or 3, you see that you restore a good constant core, but it's less if, the, if there is a fatty infiltration. But we have to repair, and there is still a difference between decompression and repair. It's very interesting that. If you push the indication to repair, even the patient is more than 75 years old, repair remains significantly better than decompression. And uh, if you have a patient of 80 years old with a small tear on good muscle and is, is very active, I recommend the repair of the calf. More interesting, with the French uh, society, arthroscopic society, we divided in four types of patients. Patient sedentary, patient fairly active. One or two is, is not very active, but some patients are very active and they continue to do sports or daily activity. And it's very interesting. You see that for sedentary, you see that if you repair the cuff, it's 76. If you have a guy very active, bicycle, for, for example, or walking every day, and you, you can obtain 83 if you repair the cuff. And I think that your indications, that depends only of the status of the curve, but depends on the patient, on the motivation of the patient to recover a good strength. My first conclusion is, uh, even you do a decompression or, or, or repair, you improve the patient, particularly for the pain relief. And the score is good after one year, but you know that the the results, there is a deterioration after five years. Repair is more efficient than the compression in terms of score, constant score, uh, American shoulder on simple shoulder test, and especially for the strength, but also, of course, for the pain. The difference between repair and the uh, compression is greater when the tear is larger and when the fatty infiltration is lower. And it's very important because fatty infiltration doesn't uh, increase systematically. If you have fatty infiltration of three or four butalier stage, you cannot recover a good muscle. And I think that this is indication of uh, decompression. And the last point is that the benefit of repair doesn't decrease over 75 years old. And my last conclusion is, uh, you have to choose your indication, depends on the patient, and you have to discuss with the patient. What is his activity? Daily activity, sports. Because if he play, if he doesn't do any sports and he doesn't want to move a lot, you can do the compression. If you, if you want, if he does do sports, bicycle, walking every day, we recommend repair uh, for cuff tear. Thank you for your attention, my friends.